Welcome to design your Airstream using SketchUp. The first thing I want to do is familiarize you with the screen elements, the window elements, and the layout that we'll be using. If you look at the side over here, you'll see these th four blue lines. We need to make sure they're inside the picture area. Next, we're going to click on the Select pointer. And you'll notice there are several menus here. The only menu that I want you to have is the one that runs clear across the top of the picture. The others that are just below are special ones that I've added. If you don't have it, go to toolbar, toolbar and click on Large Tool Set and the one that's up at the above will show up. You might also want to click on measurements if your goal is to create a scale model of your trailer as you're working on your drawing. The next thing is working with these. If you click on the blue styles line, you'll notice it opens up a menu that has the things we're working with. Click on the house and it'll bring up the particular style that's in the window. I'm using the architectural design style and we want to edit that a little bit so go up to the edit tab, click on it. The first thing to remove is endpoints by deselecting and then extensions and then on profiles we want to change the 2 to a 1. Highlight the 2 type 1 and enter. Now we can go up and close the style box by clicking on the blue bar. You need to have these four styles, components, soften edges, and materials. If you don't have them, go to Windows, click on Windows, and you'll see in my example I have materials, components, they have the little mark after them to insert styles and then soften edges. Those are the ones that are on the side. If you clicked on another one, it would make another one appear in the line of blue lines for the windows of tools. Next, we want to get rid of the little fellow, so please click and highlight him and hit delete. We don't need to work with him now. The next thing we want to do is we want this green line for that axis to be almost parallel with the screen. You should have a three button mouse that has a left button, a center scroll key, and a right button in order to work easily with SketchUp. And what we're going to do is push on the scroll button and you see you get the little move tool. Then next, click on the scroll button and hold down the shift key. And you'll get a pan tool and you can move this all the way across. And then again, the scroll or middle button. Pull it across and you can see we're starting to move the green axis into a more level position. Work at that a couple of times till you get the line near level. Next we're going to draw our first shape which is going to be a square. This is the tool up here. It looks like a little square. Click on it. Left click. And you'll notice our pencil tool now has a little box next to it which means that it will be drawing a square shape. We're going to bring it down to the corner of the three axis. You'll notice the little dot changes to yellow. Click and hold the left mouse button and then drag towards the upper right until you get a pretty good sized box. Now let go of the left button and there's our square.
We're going to use this square to place a picture of our trailer, hopefully that you have saved earlier, in a file that you can now find. So click on File. Come down to Import. When the new window opens, move to the particular file where you have the pictures you've saved. I like to click on this square up here and look at the thumbnail rather than the list. That helps me make sure I'm selecting the right picture. Use the slider. You can pull it down. Here's the picture I want, which is the front view of the Flying Cloud trailer. You want to make sure over here on the right that you have Use as an Image selected. There are two others, Use as Texture, Use as a new matched photo. We will not work with those until much, much later. We want to use Use as an Image. Then double click on your picture. You'll notice it's now in the SketchUp window. And what I want you to do is move the pointer that's connected to your picture until you get it to that point where the three axes meet again in the lower left-hand corner. Click and hold the left button. And you'll notice the trailer gets really, really small. Now you need to drag your mouse towards the right which will be enlarging the picture until you get it over to the edge. Now release the button. All right. <clears throat> we have the picture attached to that square that we drew. You may have one side larger than the other. I have the tar type that's large. You may have the line on the right hand side that's too big. If you do, what we need to do is move one of those in so they line up with either the top or the side of the trailer. Click on the shift key changing the pointer to the select. Click on the line you need to move. Go up to the move tool. This is the move tool. Now the move tool can also be selected by just hitting the M key. We can use keystrokes or we can use the mouse and select the tool from the toolbar. I'm going to actually use the mouse and click on the tool to begin with because we might have some people who are not very familiar with 3D design. This way uh, they will get used to what tool does what. However, as we move along and get more in practice, we'll be using keystrokes more all the time because it's faster and more convenient. Okay, the symbol has changed to black, but it's still the same picture. I'm going to slide it over to this top edge where the vertical line that shows the vertical axis is located. This is important because I'm going to use it for the movement reference. If I didn't, it would be very easy to distort that original square, and I'll show you that. Notice by once I clicked on it, if I move that around, the rectangle distorts and moves around. If I keep it right on the blue line, when I move it down I can bring the line right to the top of the trailer. Everything's nice and square. When I've got that down I'm going to release the button. Now we want to change back to the select tool so I'm going to hit the space bar and I have the select tool instead of the move tool. I want to move this image around so we're looking at a little bit more from the side rather than straight on. So I'm going to use the scroll button click and rotate the drawing and then remember if I do click shift I get the pan hand and I can move it back and forth till I get the image somewhat near the center of the area. 